Welcome back to Maya 2018 Basics. Today we're going to discuss how to make a sphere with better quads, okay? What we're seeing here with our poly shelf, poly modeling shelf uh, default sphere is that we have triangles and those aren't always ideal and we have poles here, poles which are connecting more than four edges. So that's also not ideal. As we start work getting into a, a particular workflow, where we're moving beyond modeling and we're getting into rigging and animation, which is primarily what these videos are for to get to the end goal, which is having your creating your own animations. Um, you might run into problems with that. Now, I've seen some folks do a real quick smooth mesh on a, on a uh, cube and they call her a day, which you can do. You can do that. You can take this and you just go right shift, right click, smooth, and two divisions ought to do it, and you are in business. Now, it's not a perfect sphere, mind you, but it's one that is going to be much more ideal for modeling uh, heads, like human heads or character heads, things like that. When you get into these types of spheres, not so much, not so much with this. So you want as many quads as, as possible, and it looks like even with this, we've got a lot of, we're, we're, we're doing good here. Even when we take this polysphere and we lower the, the number of subdivisions, we're still going to have an issue with the poles there, okay? And you would, you would absolutely need to, at some point, retopologize. So this gets you right in the zone, especially working with heads. The other way to do it, so again, this is just shift, right click, and then go into your smooth tool. And then of course, if you want some options there, there's plenty of options to uh, you know, you know, add sharp edges, preserve edges and corners, things like that. So play a lot, play, play with those settings. The next one is using a square, and then what we're gonna, a square, use a cube rather. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer attributes. So you can smooth this if you want, I mean, this is just a preview. When you hit three, you can always back it up and go one. But if you hit three here and start to add your subdivisions, you know, you're gonna see, you're gonna see, uh, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work so nicely, right? The more subdivisions you add, so that's not the way to go about it. Uh, so we're gonna go back to one again. Keep in mind that's just for previewing. The way to, the, to really get it down is to actually smooth it. But let's say we're not gonna smooth it, we're not gonna use that, but we're gonna transfer the attributes of this sphere to this cube. So the way to do it is you start with your source, always source to target, okay? So you click on your source and then shift click your target. And we're gonna go here into mesh. We're gonna go into transfer attributes. Let's take a look at the settings. Now the settings here, these are not default. These would be your default settings is what you should see on your Maya interface, unless you've played around with these options. We wanna turn on the vertex positions and the normal. And it, we're not using UV sets for this one. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that off. Color sets and you, well, let's try the, yeah, let's, let's, let's try color sets. Let's see if it, it, it transfers, right? And then we're gonna go with local here. If you go with world, uh, it gives you a different effect. And let's try applying it. Oh no, what happened? There's nothing to do here. I, oh man, screwed it up. Well, let's see. If I go and do my, okay. It looks like, it looks like, let's see. Let's add some more subdivisions. Did we do this right? Yes and no. Okay, I think what happened is when we transferred over our color sets, we had a problem. So let's try that. Again, source, target. Uh, you know what? Let me make a better, I, let me make a better cube also. Let's make a cube. I could have done this in the attribute editor as well. Let's do 10. 
10, and 10. All right, now let's transfer. Okay, so everything's equal here. Here, source, target. We're going to go on with the vertex, off with everything else. We're going to hit local. That's the only difference. And we're going to transfer. Okay, let's see if that did it. So let's just use five, five, and five. And it looks like that's what we got. Okay, so we got a similar, similar situation here. It's going to be slightly different looking than, oops. It's going to be slightly different looking, let me do, than our, if you just smooth it. So let me do 10. Ugh, I could have just done this a little bit easier here. Like, <laughs> just done it, the whole thing, and then just, okay. And then shift and smooth. And there you go. So if we're looking at the differences here, um, looks like we have a few more quads that they added that are added in here, but I bet ya, if we go in here and we take out some of the subdivisions, we can get pretty close to this guy. Okay, so it's similar. The one nice feature about transferring attributes is if you have stuff that's already pre-existing and you need to transfer it over, like UVs and color sets and things like that, it's it's going to it's going to do that. I mean, you're not going to get that with just simply smoothing. But if you're starting out modeling, the way to go, real quick and easy, grab a cube and smooth it. Shift right click and smooth it and you're in business. That'll do it for today's video. Have a beautiful day.